All right, this is a Payne air handler. It's having um, X13 motor here. Now I'm having a bed blower motor and I'll explain why I have it. I just put the transformer here, you know, I just moved it here for me to test easily everything. Now from the transformer, let, let's take a look what the blower, I'm just gonna unplug this. Let's see if I can do it one hand. Anyways, okay. This is the plug that goes to the blower motor. It has black and yellow, which is 240 volts. You have to have 240 volts present here between these yellow and black. There is also brown. Brown is simply low voltage side common of the 24 volts. So you're having 240 plus common. Now, you have here another, the fourth wire, which is blue, also goes there. Blue is just the speed. You can choose the speed. You can choose speed one, right there. You can choose speed two, speed three, speed four, and speed five, okay? And in any case, from, from, from the board, anytime there is call for heat, call for cool, or fan, call for a fan, the blower, this SPT, you know, SPT, let me see if I can zoom, yes, the blue wire is connected to SPT, speed terminal, will supply you 24 volts, so what's at the end here, you're going to have 24 volts between your brown and blue, right? Blue is simply, it, it's very simple. Blue is simply, you unplug from speed number three, you go to speed number two, that's it. It's gonna have speed number two. Now what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna reconnect this. I'll go ahead and reconnect, supply the power to the blower, and we'll see that it tries to come on. And you can also hear, you probably, I don't know if you can hear on the camera or not, but it's like, like, like a ticking sound for for about one second and then no more ticking sound and ticking sound so it pretty much it tries to ramp up but it cannot ramp up now obviously please don't do this in your you know you have to have power off but here what I did I changed from speed 3 speed 2 to speed 4 it doesn't do anything see it, it does not do anything. Please Again, please don't. Do, it, it is energized right now, and I'm extra cautious, very careful what I'm doing. I'm only touching this 24-volt speed terminal, nothing else. But what you can do, what you can do, turn off, turn off the power, change the speed, turn on the power. Turn off the power, change the speed, turn off the power. So don't do this live, of course. So speed number four doesn't work. Number five also doesn't do anything. Number two is the only speed that it works, okay? And if I go to speed number one, let me see what it does on speed number one. Speed number one also works. One and two works. Three, four, and five does not. So, this is just a quick demonstration how easy it is to test X13 motors. Very simple. They just require 240 volts and um, common plus the speed terminal, which is 24 volts. Very simple. All right. Thank you, guys. Hopefully, it helped helped you to understand uh, a little bit more uh, about X13s. And uh, just wanted to make sure this is very simple. I mean, I, that's that's. That's what, what I wanted to say, that this is a very simple thing to test. It, it has just 240 and uh, 24 volts, common and 24 volts. That's it. Thanks for watching.